Hey all, so we've got a bunch of stuff to go through for ultimate hunting. Well, let's get into it. One of the first things we got was an elk grunt call. So let's read through it. Elk grunt call, category, calls. Type sound decoy, attracts tule elk. Trivia, the call imitates the sounds of a mature bull. Generally, it is supposed to be used alongside diaphragm calls, but this variant has a silicon overlay built in. The tube is quite big, but handy and lightweight. Originally includes a camo cover on it. As always, their gear models are next level. Absolutely love it. I also like the fact that this is the second L call that we've gotten so far. So it's really cool to know that we are getting more than one type of call for a species. Then we got some ammunition for the 300 Winchester. Let's read through that. 300 Winchester, category ammunition, type FMJ, SP, HP, caliber 300 Winchester, grain 150 to 200 grain. Trivia, higher velocity makes it better for further distances and accuracy. Convenient to hunt almost any game animal, especially ungulates. There was a bit of a debate about the model for this because it does not have, have the belt clip line at the bottom. However, it seems at the end it turned out that the 300 Winchester is both a belt type ammo and a non-belt type ammo. So this is quite accurate. Moving on, we had the question for Q&A number 11. Are animal senses going to vary in strength? Some have better sight, others smell, some can't smell at all, etc. And the answer is, Hi Adam, thank you for the question. I will be glad to answer it. Yes, in ultimate hunting, we, the developers, are able to customize sensors sensitivity for different species. It means that, for example, Prongon will be able to notice your presence visually, as it has better sight than a black bear, which was more likely to sense you using smell. So here comes the fun part. As we all know, some predators will hunt you down in ultimate hunting. So better choose proper camouflage and use scent reduction sprays in areas where you can meet aggressive animals. Such extensive and varied senses for animals make the game much more interesting because if you want to hunt antelope for instance and sneak up to them in tall grass, you can quickly become the prey. But briefly, yes, all animals will have different sight, smell and hearing senses, which is fantastic news. I am really glad to hear that the animals are going to be more realistic when it comes to their sense of smell and sight and i really enjoyed the little info drop there about you becoming the prey that is super cool then this past friday ultimate hunting posted a congratulatory post to the dev team of way of the hunter where they said keep up the good work and good luck with upcoming patches and then they asked however dear ultimate hunting fans what are the features that you already liked in that title and what would you like to see in our game now down in the description there are links to their Facebook and Twitter pages so if you want to give your comment then follow the link and drop a comment. Then over on Discord we got to see some of their in-game brand logos for the clothing. Here we've got the Outdoor Masters, we then have the Trail Boss Camo and we've got Muley. Now I'm assuming that the Muley is going to work better on the California map. We then got to see the Safari Wear and we got to see Tusco which I assume is going to work better for the African map. But folks, that's everything we've got so far. Let me know down in the comments what you found the most interesting and exciting. And I will catch you in the next video.